Today, we've got tons of Pokemon related mail to open. Alright, so over the last couple of months, I've been slowly ordering things on eBay and Amazon and whatnot, just slowly collecting packages to open. As you see by the thumbnail, I've got quite a few. I know the last opening I did for mail was mostly Ampharos, but this is a little bit more varied, if you will. So there's a lot more here than just Ampharos, so bear with me, and uh, we'll see what I got. I did order these, like I said, over the course of a couple months, so I actually kind of don't know what's in here. 100%. I know we've got things that aren't just cards, but everything is Pokemon related. So in this first pack, I've got another pack to open. All right. I'm expecting some singles in here, but this is a pretty thick stack. Um, would appreciate some positive... Of course. Yeah, sure, sure. We'll see. We'll see. So far, packaging's been great. That's the one, one thing about buying Pokemon singles. You got to make sure packaging is great. Definitely don't want damaged cards. All right. Oh, I got some free stuff. Okay. All right, all right. Let's just do this. And this. So we've got a twin energy. I've never seen that before. And, ooh, first, this is probably what I bought. First edition Flaffy. Very nice. These, so if I recall correctly, this seller had, um, I was buying a certain set of, certain type of card you'll see later. And uh, he offered me a bunch of other stuff and said, look at what I got. And he actually searched his collection for me. So there's a, so this is the free thing, a reverse twin energy. I don't want to take these out right now. Those look good though. We've got, I did not order this. I made, I made sure to go out of my way not to order another one of these because I had like three or four. So this must have been free. Or maybe this is, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is anymore. But look at that. What is that from? 2007, that's an awesome looking Mareep. Just making sure there's only two cards in there. So reverse Mareep, Hollow Ampharos from Steven Siege. Maybe I did buy that, I'll have to look. Okay, maybe I lied. I guess they're a lot more Ampharos than I thought. Apparently I got one of these and another one for free. Is that the same one? Oh, it's not the same one. 2011 and 2010. All right, I guarantee we're getting this stuff that's not Ampharos. There we go. Reverse electric energy and it looks like free card on the other side. Oh, reverse fighting. If you've watched any of my videos pretty much, you'll know I'm really a huge fan of reverse energies. So very excited about this. Okay, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. let's go. Rainbow energy, it says pull. I wonder if that means. Nope, that's it. All right. Rainbow energy from Dragon Frontiers. That's amazing. I do actually appreciate these little pull tabs. They've been made it really easy to pull out of the top loaders. All right, let's uh, let's look. Let's take a closer look at this one. That actually looks really good. So I didn't go based off of condition for all of these uh, cards you'll see here. Obviously, I went for ones that looked pretty decent, but I just wanted these in my collection. So that's one of those. It's not perfect, but it's very good. All right, see what we've got here. Whoop. Oh, there we go. I think this is the EX Power Keepers Reverse Energies. That's awesome. These look so cool. These are my favorite reverses that I've ever seen for energies. And it's in pretty, pretty good shape. It's not perfect, but it's, oh my God, just look at that rainbow. That's insane. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for all these. Oh my goodness, there's another one. What set is that? I can't remember what set that is. I'll have to, I'll put that up on screen too. But then this is a free card? Oh, he gave me another. <laughs> the EX Power. Oh, this is Holland Phantoms, I think. Holland Phantoms and another EX Power Keepers. Awesome. And then we've got another EX Power Keepers. 
And a, oh man, a Holland Phantoms? Okay. This guy was so nice. I just want to reiterate, I'm not obviously sponsored by an eBay seller, but this guy was awesome. He went out of his way to search through his whole, it wasn't even listed, the cards that weren't listed to find me cards that I was interested in. Looks like we've got another Holland Phantoms, Psychic Reverse. Ooh, that one's got a nasty, oh, I didn't see that. And that doesn't matter to me, but look at that nasty print line right here. That is huge. Oh my goodness. And then we got a free, oh, EX Power Keepers Fighting Energy. And this is, we're not done yet. Holland Phantoms Fighting Reverse, amazing. And another EX Power Keepers Reverse Fighting, awesome. And looks like we've got, oh, two more. Hey, an actual card I purchased. Let's see what we got. What a shock, right? What a shock. Ampharos Hollow from Pop Series 7. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I think I do I do have another Pop 7 Ampharos Hollow, but it's this one I bought because it's way better shape. I know it does have whitening here, but the other one I have is pretty rough. Aside from that whitening, it's not too bad. Very happy to have one decent condition one in my collection now. And our last from this single seller. Ooh. <laughs> Another Ampharos. Holy cow. There is so much hollow on this card. That pattern is that just looks awesome to me. I guess I was wrong about not having a bunch of Ampharos. Wait a minute. Up here on the yellow. See if I can get it in camera. Oh, right there. See? Okay, the hollow is leaking. Is that normal? It's all over the card. That's got to be normal. That's am I didn't notice that. That's awesome. You can see it all in all throughout here. I'm gonna put it down. Oh, is it? Oh, there's a swirl by his foot right there too. This might be one of my new favorite Ampharos hollows. And one of my better condition ones. It looks it looks really clean. I like that a lot. Very happy with that. So this was actually a purchase off of Facebook Market. I did a few buys off of there. I did um, a video game mystery box and I did a music box. But this, oh, he packaged them all in the same. Oh no. Packaged them all in the same sleeve. Okay, there are four cards. That's how many they're supposed to be. So the crazy thing is this top loader just was sitting there. They weren't in that, which is probably for, for the best because if you're gonna pack four cards in one sleeve, that's kind of... Anyways, um, in the pictures, the condition was really good. So this is relatively disappointing. But let's see what we got. Mewtwo Blackstar promo from the WB Kids. The front looks great. Maybe he only posted the picture of the front. Maybe that's how I got tricked. Because, yeah, the edges of the back here are pretty suboptimal. Here's the Electabuzz. Again, the front looks pretty good. The Pikachu. Very nice. This one might be the worst one. But it is the Dragonite. Now the wor <laughs> the worst thing is I've owned all these at one point in my life when I was a kid. But I'm just happy to have a set now that I can hopefully prevent from getting any worse than that. I'll have to go back and look and see if uh, that car those cards actually look that bad in the listing. And now we've got a package with no protection. Always kind of scary. So let's hope. Nothing too bad happened to this card. It's a decent, decent shape. Ooh, yeah, kind of gross there. We've got <laughs> an EX Power Keepers Reverse Water Energy. Very nice. I think, I think we've completed the set. 
as of now. Maybe we'll complete it a couple more times. We'll see. All right, this one feels like it has at least a little protection. I just don't know why you would trust any mailing service with just loose cards, you know? I don't know what this is. I think I really did only get Amphros from that one seller. So I, I don't expect these to be Amphros. Well, it looks like they print receipts for each individual card. Interesting. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's a, a Holland Phantoms reverse water energy. Oh my goodness. There's no way. There's no way. Absolutely no way I would bought, bought this card seeing that. Oh my, okay. There's no way. I'm getting my money back for that. There's no way. Like, I know I said I don't care about condition, but geez, oh, Peach, you've got to be kidding me. All right, let's put that up here as a reminder. I've got to talk to that person. Let's hope these other ones aren't that bad. We've got, ah, uh, yes, psychic energy. Okay, that one looks fine. That one looks, let me just double, really triple check. I think we're good. So that's good. Another uh, Holland, Holland Phantoms reverse psychic. And I bet you can't guess what's coming next. That's right, reverse hollow fighting energy from Holland Phantoms. Surprise, surprise. Pretty decent. I, I have a feeling that they either didn't see that card was so messed up or it happened in shipping somehow because there's no way or they they hit it they could have hit it too you never know we'll put up we'll put all of our problem cards over against the back run there hopefully that's the only one but it'll just give me a nice reminder okay what do we got here all right looks like we've got perhaps one card just one card and it is a reverse psychic energy from EX Power Keepers. Let's see how that looks. That one looks nice. Actually quite off center. But it's just a reminder, did not get these based on quality. I got them based on how much I like reverse energies. And apparently I wanted a few sets of them. More singles. This one is protected. It's crazy that you have to, like, worry about that. Especially with how big the trading card game has gotten lately. You'd think if somebody's selling trading cards, they would just know. Or do some research about how to send trading cards, you know? The thickest top loader I've ever seen. This has to be a sports card top loader. That's one actual top loader. But it looks like there's more than one card in here. There are three. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> if there was any doubt, here's another reverse electric energy from Power Keepers. Reverse water from Power Keepers. And reverse grass. If you can't tell the theme by now, I don't know what to tell you. Another package here. I think I was just sitting up late one night going, man, these energies look cool. Let's get every single one of them on eBay. Pretty sure that's what happened. Next package is a single card. Reverse fire energy. Kind of want to take this one out. This is uh, Holland Phantoms again. If there's any sets that you guys know of that has really cool reverses that I don't already know of, please let me know. I know some of the new sets have like the gold rares, which I will be working on at some point. Sorry, the secret, like, yeah, the secret rares. I will be working on those. But if there's any kind of vintage sets that have good reverse hollows, please let me know. All right, next package is one card. If I had to guess, it's an energy. And it is. A reverse water energy. Reverse water energy from Power Keepers. 
I notice a lot of the reverse energies has a ton of uh, have a ton of whitening on the edges. They are kind of oldish, 2007. That one looks pretty decent though. We are down to our last singular card item. Everything else we have I, is in a is it a box of some sort. Which is when I think it changes. I don't think there's any more cards after this. But like I said, I, I, I don't know what I ordered. All right, we've got two cards in that top loader. Any guesses? Anybody? Please guess down below. Oh, lightning energy from Power Keepers and fire energy from Power Keepers. I like reverse energies, okay? All right, starting now, I have just about zero clue what we're opening. I know what kind of things, but I don't know what is in each one. I don't think there are cards. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, what have we got? Pop figures? Ooh, okay. A Radita. Let's take a look at this. They included a protector, which is actually really thoughtful. And I appreciate that a ton. I don't really know anything about Pops. I just know that there are a lot of Pokemon ones. Maybe I'll put a picture up here of my current small collection, but I was just thinking I might as well pick up a few more. And a few more usually means there's going to be more. We've got a Ponyta. And this one is in really pristine condition. Like the edges are sharp and holy cow. Very nice. We've got a pony to, to add to the collection. This package is very light. It may not be a pop figure. I don't know what else I would have ordered. Ah, it's a pop figure. <laughs> and we've got a silver squirtle. Again, I don't know anything about pops, but I know this is some special edition. Obviously, we got the 25th sticker there. Normally, they aren't silver. I know I. I do have a silver Pikachu, I think. Interesting, they don't show any different ones down here. A little bit of a ding there. But I'm not a Funko Pop collector, so I'm not too torn up about it. But we've got Silver Squirtle added to the collection. All right, package number four. And it is Meowth, number 780. Don't that's attacking Pikachu, I think. All right, that one's also a really good condition. A little dusty, a little dusty, that's okay. Very nice. So another, this one's a big box. It's in an actual Funko Pop box, but we've got, ooh, three Funko Pops in here. First one, ooh. The silver Bulbasaur. Also the 25th anniversary of version again very nice condition these have all been surprisingly good i definitely expected some of them to be kind of beat up i did end up getting the attack pikachu i think is what it's called pristine very good very good move you guys over and the last one in this box is a mr mime very cool. This actually, I really like this one for some reason. I don't even like Mr. Mime as a Pokemon that much, but I like his Funko Pop, I guess. So this one has me concerned. Let me let me clear off the table. All right, this one has me concerned. So it's actually Pop stuff. It's obviously it's not gonna be Demon Slayer, but look at the box. It's kind of beat up. It's got a hole in it. This is how it came to me. Pretty pretty beat. So I'm um. I don't have high hopes for the condition of these boxes. I stand corrected. They were inside of this, inside the other box. So this is really sturdy. Oh, okay. I finished out the trio. We've got the silver. It doesn't have a sticker though. Very interesting. Just a silver Charmander, not damaged even a little bit. That is shocking. I was 
legitimately dreading opening this box. Whoop. Now I damage the boxes. And a horsey. Again, another Funko Pop I really like. Any kind of the weird... Like, this only has a little tail. I kind of like that. I don't have that Pikachu. But very nice. Very nice. If you package that with the inside box every time, I guess you're good. That brings us to the end of the Funko Pops. And to this package, which I have been looking forward to for weeks and weeks and weeks. Something relatively custom. Don't know if you've ever heard of them. I hadn't. I don't know how I stumbled across these. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just psyched. All right. Let me show you. Oh my goodness. They're Ampharo shoes. And they've got like the Mega Stone in the back. Oh my. Okay. They look good. They look good. Let's take a little closer look here. They're real shoes. I'll, I'll give them that. Let's just take a look at one since these are... I wear size 15s. So I can't really get two of them in frame. Let's take a look at that. Oh my. Okay. Oh, those, oh I did not notice this. I did not know that. Little low quality, honestly. Like the Tyranitar you can see is quite fuzzy. Infernape you can see. But you're not really going to be focused on those. You're looking at this. Oh. Whoa, it's a little off. I don't know how I didn't see that. You know what? Overall, I'm not sure those are things that you'll see just normally walking around. But overall, way, way surprised. Way surprised. Way better than I thought they could be. It looks like they have different... Nope, they're the same Pokemon on each side. Because there's a Squirtle, Tyrant, and Tyrant. Amazing. I'm very pleased. Now, that was the thing I was excited for for weeks. But this is what I'm the most excited for. I have been looking forward to this. Well, for a week. But once you see it, you'll understand. So I grew up in the 90s. Like a lot of other adult Pokemon fans nowadays. And I know you're all you're all gonna recognize this. But what we've got here. That's right. You remember these. I know you do. I have to dust these off. But that's not even the best part. Besides the fact that this box is relatively flawless for being what? When was when when, when did these come out? Sometimes in the late 90s. I don't know exactly. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll put it on screen here. So not only does the box look great for being 30 years old. But look at this. Wow, the flaps are even stiff still. Look at that. In a wrapper. I almost don't even want to take it out. I'll do it though. I'll do it for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I've never, just never thought I'd hold one of these again in my life. I just, I I don't know, I'm at a loss for words for myself, because I'm so excited. So this one's a little beat. That's not too bad, little bends here. Again, these are 30 years old. What, what can you expect, really? I will tell you, I did a lot of looking. I tried to find the best condition ones I could find, and I, and to me, it's worth it. This is one of those things that I'm never going to give up. And I have so many memories about as a kid. Just like I'm sure so many of you guys do. We've got the Togepi, the Jigglypuff, the Poliwhirl. A little bit beat up there, but I mean, again, the, the condition doesn't matter a whole ton to me. I'm glad they look great. So I just want to make sure they're all actually sealed. I did see pictures of them all, obviously. But still just looking at them in person. <laughs> in person is just something else. 
I, I just remember as a kid having them and they were open the second I grabbed them. And I had the cards on display in my room. Here's a big one, the Pikachu one. Little ding there, little tiny something there. Overall though, besides being dusty, these are just in such good condition. I just remember, <laughs> does anybody else remember how excited they were to own real gold cards? All right, we got her open. Again, it's just completely factory sealed. These were what toys were in the 90s. These were Happy Meal toys from Burger King. Now their big one, the Mewtwo. This one is a little dented here. But other than that, that's that's one this one's great. Holy cow. There we got the bag, the seal. I'm not sure there's anything that would make me open these. I just, owning these sealed, it, it means so much to me at this point in my life for some reason. I don't even know why. I can't explain it to you. Maybe you guys kind of just understand, but the big kahuna, the Charizard. A scuff there. A little bit of paint rubbing off there, but I mean, or yeah, paint. Just fantastic. And again, wrapped in its package. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed uh, all this mail that I opened and reliving all this nostalgia with me. What was your favorite thing that you saw today? Uh, did you also have these uh, Burger King toys when you were younger? Let me know down low.